What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but we have the G back in the shop today. Gonna take care of something very important, something that I fixed. This will be the third time I believe that I'm fixing that, or this problem, and that is the sunroof drains. They're a big pain in the butt. Um, I made a video of this a while back of how to access these sunroof drains and, and how I fixed it initially. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't last. It lasted a few months. Um, so then I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead, get two new sunroof drains, throw them in, should be good to go. Well, I thought that was the case, and that lasted about six months, and guess what? I have another leak in the G. But I've been messing around with some different ideas. I actually bought a new sunroof drain so that I could try out some things and figure out how I'm going to make this work. Uh, basically, I found out that I'm going to make this work and hopefully fix this problem permanently with nothing more than a metal straw. You can get these... Uh, like a five pack on Amazon for like three or four dollars. Uh, so instead of spending the twenty-five dollars on these drains that will eventually leak again, you can just get this pack of straws. All you need is one. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do, and this should hopefully, I really hope, fix this problem permanently. So here is the sunroof drain. It goes into the firewall like this. It clips in with these little clips here. Um, it does a really poor job of sealing with this little piece of, I don't even know if you can call it rubber. Uh, but anyway, there is a baffle in here. Um, I already cut this out to do what I need to do. But there's a baffle in here, so that gets clogged and basically leaks out these little cracks here. And that's what ends up on the floorboard of your car. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this straw through here. And we're going to be cutting it just right here to where it comes out of this backside. So it has a direct line outside of the car. Um, and if I put it the other way, you'll see that when you get these, they go right through. There's nothing to stop it. It's a little bit too big. I'm sure there's other pieces of, you know, something like this that fit a little bit better. But what I did is I just took a needle nose pair of needle nose pliers and I kind of flared one end of it um, so that this can go in and then it completely stops at the end. So what I'm going to do is throw some clear uh, RTV silicone sealant in here, seal this down, and then I will cut it right about here. I will seal it inside as well, let it dry, and then uh, we can put this back in the car. So that's going to be my way of fixing this problem. Uh, like I said, some people use other materials or other items to kind of accomplish the same thing. Other people will just take the sunroof drain itself and kind of put an extension on the tube and just kind of let it hang through the firewall. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to make sure the car is as sealed up as it can. Like I said, very humid here, so if you get any moisture into your car, um, you're going to have a mold or mildew issue, at least where I live. And as well, we got a bunch of little critters down here, lizards, spiders, all that other stuff. So I want to keep those things out of the car if at all possible. So I'm going to utilize the like I just showed you, the original uh, style drain, and then just put that straw through and so that it can have a direct route from the hose all the way to the outside of the car. All right, so I have the inside of the car taken apart, took out the uh, bottom plastic piece here, the A-pillar uh, section, uh, took out the vent here, just one screw. Like I said in the other video, I went through how to do all this, but this is what you need to take out to access this guy here, uh, a pair of long needle nose pliers helps a little bit just to get to this uh, part here. You can see all the dirt build up on the side there and you can see where it was entering or going through these cracks here and I don't know if you can tell on camera there you go this foam piece rubber whatever you want to call it is pretty well uh, saturated so just under you know hard rain or just obviously it's not clogged it's just uh, gathering over on this side coming through this crack and then ending up down here on the floor. There's actually some standing water down here. Uh, that's not a good thing because right up there is your BCM. Um, initially when this starts, um, you know, take care of this, get it fixed up because if that gets wet, uh, it can fail, cause you some major problems. One time I was driving and my whole dash just went blank. Car didn't shut off, but everything went blank. Had to stop, turn it off, restart it. But that's what this causes. Um, you know, the leak is not a big deal in and of itself, but it can get things wet and cause more problems. All right, so I have the piece of the straw cut to fit. It's right, goes right to the edge of that drain piece there. And like I said, I flared this end so it doesn't fall out of the other side. Um, so now I'm just gonna apply a good amount of clear silicone 
You can get this at AutoZone, Advanced Auto, whatever. Um, and that'll pretty much glue this and seal the straw onto here, onto the, uh, the adapter. And I'm also going to put some sealant in there just to make sure that nothing seeps around the outside here. And then that hose is going to sit on here like this. And that way the water has a clear path to the outside and hopefully will no longer leak through these holes. Alright, so I have my modified sunroof drain on here. As you can see, the little straw that I modified to fit in there. The tube just goes right on, put a zip tie on there. Make sure when you put this back in up there onto the firewall that the arrow, see if it'll focus, that the arrow is pointing up. So just make sure that when you go in, like I said, that it's pointing up. Um, let your silicone dry a little bit. I let it dry for about an hour or so. While I did other stuff, it fully cures in 24 hours. So just try and let it dry as long as you can. If you can do this overnight and then come back in the morning and uh, reassemble, that'll be better. But for me on a tight schedule, I'm just going to go ahead, reassemble everything. And then I also have the driver's side apart. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back together as well. All right, guys, everything is back together. You just put everything back together in reverse order. Like I said, check out the other video I did before. Uh, and it'll go into a little bit more detail of how to remove everything. But everything is back together and fixed, and hopefully it lasts this time. So if you're having trouble with your sunroof drains leaking, uh, it's a big problem with these cars, unfortunately. It's probably the single most annoying thing uh, that has repeatedly gone wrong with this car. Um, not a super big deal, like I said, to fix. Um, it's just, the, it's a poor design from the factory. A lot of other companies use a solid rubber grommet that goes into the firewall, so at least it's, you know, it seals better. So hopefully you can use this idea, uh, maybe use a different material, but the concept is the same. Uh, and also hopefully I'm going to save you guys a few dollars instead of going to get these brand new drains that, like I said, leaked again after about six months for me. So go ahead and try this on your car. Like I said, hopefully it will work. Um, I really don't see why not. Uh, as long as that silicone is good and dry in there, um, it should just give you a direct route outside the car. So thanks for checking out this video. Like I said at the start of the video, I know it's been a while. I have so much going on. Uh, with the business, with family life, with life in general. Uh, but this is something that absolutely needed to be done before any more damage was caused. So since it's a common problem and it's something that I fixed before, I figured I'd make a follow-up video with uh, more of a permanent fix and solution that should work. So thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, don't have an upload schedule. I'm uh, just doing things as I can, as I have a little bit of free time. Like I said, had to put some projects on hold to take care of this. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up if it helped you. Uh, I'd really appreciate that as well. So thanks again for checking out the video. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, keep wrenching on your cars.